What's up guys, today Mark has 702 here, and welcome back to my playthrough on Fire Emblem Fates Conquest for the Nintendo 3DS. And so guys, in our last episode, we actually had another full support video, basically having a lot of our units talk to each other uh, via support, and one including Arthur and Effie actually getting married. So, uh, and then shortly after that, at the end of the episode, we actually had um, the game introducing to us the Deep Realm conversation, th not conversation, but the Deep Realm thing, to where we can visit our children in the Deep Realms, and how they turn into adults, like, very quickly, all that good stuff. And today, guys, we're going to be entering into Paralogue 19, as it's going to be our very first one in the Conquest playthrough, and it actually involves Arthur's son. So let's go ahead and get into this, man. I am so ready. Paralogue 19, Great Heroism. Dude, this is going to be so sick. I am ready right now. This is going to be so awesome. Here, Ace. Here, Ace. Come to Percy. Come on, come to Percy. Good dragon. You're my only real friend, especially since Pop never visits. Uh, what, Ace? Trying to make me feel better? Golly, thanks a bunch. Oh, my. Oh, my. Dude. It is Pit. I knew it was Pit. Dude, I, I swear to God, it's Anthony Del Rio in there. I swear to God. So it's not only Silas who plays as Anthony Del Rio, but also this nigga Percy. Golly, thanks a bunch, Ace. You always know what just to roar. You're the best buddy ever. With you as my sidekick, nothing's gonna get me down. I'm done obeying Pop's dumb rules, which includes staying here in my deep realm. Let's get out of here, Ace. Yo, this kid Percy, man. He's a troublemaker. He must be around here somewhere. Percy! Hello! Percy! Oh, my son! My offspring! Oh, sidekick. Not yet old enough to kick at my side. Why would you leave our most secret of lairs in your deep realm? Ew. Oogie. Dragon dung. Did he just say ew, oogie? <laughs> Dragon dung. Whizzing past my heroic brow? A close call. But where'd it come from? <gasps> oh my god, Percy's here. Percy. Where have you been? I've been worried sick. Leaving the secret lair? Clearly you must have been gotten lost. No need to worry, I'll have you back home in a flash. Me uh, must say it's nice to see you, son. It's been a while. I hardly recognize you. Uh-oh. What's eating you, Percy? Come on, out with it. I hate you, Pops. Oh, pfft, Percy! All you talk about is justice. How just is it never to visit me? You're... You're... You're a villain. You're my worst enemy. You're my... You're my arch nemesis. Wah! Never fear. Percy, Pops is here. Yeesh, what's gotten into him? Arch nemesis? Ahoy there, friend. Ha, huh, friend? I'm no friend to some jerk who made kids cry their eyes out. You've fallen into the covered pit of misconception, stranger. Here, I'll help you out before you've gored upon the spikes of wrong-headedness. That was no kid. That was my son, my spawn, fruit of my loins. Oh, God, come on, Arthur. What? The way he ran off crying? No way. Who are you, really, villain? I am Arthur. What? No, you're not. I recognize you. You're... You're... Gazak! Your ears must be clogged, friend. Listen up. As I just said. I am Arthur. <laughs> he just said the same thing. What? You can't, co you can't fool me. Gazak! I recognize that chin everywhere. It's got Bandon written all over it. Well, I assure you that my chin is not uh, the graffiti wall of evil. Here, fellow, my son comes back. Wait, here, fellow, my son's come. Okay, you'll clear this matter up. Back, Return to whatever dark hole of naughtiness you crawled out of. I think that mercenary has got you pegged. You are Gazak. Percy. Charge, Charge friends! I found Gazak. Time to for this bandit to come to justice. You must be joking. Wow, that really sprout, uh, spiraled out of control. Yo, should we have Silas and Percy talk to each other right now? That'd be so cool. We'd better get in there and back Arthur up, I guess. Dude, what is going on right now? This is crazy. But, um, yeah, here we go. We're about to get into this battle, my boys. Let's go ahead and view the map and see what we got ourselves into. Holy shit, dude. We have 31 units to face off against. And it says, route the enemy for our goal. So, holy shit, Percy's actually a Weaver Rider? I never expected this. Yo. This kid has Anthony Del Rio right all over him. All written all over him. Holy shit. But his beginning stats for a Weaver Rider aren't that bad, to be honest with you guys. 
I mean, resistance is pretty goddamn terrible, but, I mean, he is a Weaver Rider. Strength is at 15. Lux at 17. That's so funny how Arthur has the lowest luck in his life, and yet Percy has so much of it, and it's maxed out. That is hilarious. Magic, 0. Okay. Skill is 12, so that's not bad. And then speed is 11. Defense, 16. All right, so not bad. Percy is actually at some pretty good stats. Uh, we are going to have to talk to him, though. Yeah, we're going to have to talk to him with Arthur if we're going to want to have him on our side. And then we got all these niggas over here. So, yeah, it's pretty obvious that we need Arthur with us. Uh, we have a leash back, so that's nice. But I'm pretty sure I already cleared that up. Or, or maybe I didn't. I don't know. Let's see. Um, Kaze. Should we bring someone like Laszlo? Can we actually gain experience here, or is it just freaking... I don't even know. Do we actually have the option to... I don't know. I don't even know. Alright, at least you need to stay back, my girl. You need to stay back. Um, let's see. Arthur. I mean, pair up Arthur and Effie. There we go. That should be good. Nyx, we're going to actually pair you up with Silas. Because we're going to build your, your two uh, support. Your you two support. I don't even know. Um, let's see. Should I have... Wait, da 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 who does Selena have a good relationship with? Kaze. Ooh, let's get some more support, guys. Like, I really want to see these units get married very fast. That would be so cool. Oh, Laszlo with Camilla. Oh, that'd be that'd be good. Oh, shit. Should we bring Odin, then? I'm not going to bring Odin this time. I'm going to bring Laszlo. Just because I feel like it'd be more useful. So we're going to pair him up with Camilla. Put them right there. What is this dragon vein? Intimidate area foes, forcing them to flee. Okay. Well, Camilla will actually be able to get there very fast, so that's what we'll do. If we guys, if we can actually make all these guys flee, that's gonna be perfect for us. So I'm up for that. Um, we should have. Oh, we don't have Azura with us or anything. That's fine. Um, Niles. Mmm, you're just gonna stay back, I guess, and then Perry. Man, Perry and Niles both like to kill people a lot, so maybe that would work out for the best. Maybe that would, I don't know. But we're gonna have them paired up. We're just gonna have everyone paired up, except for freaking Kashe over here. Oh, by the way, guys, I actually did some level grinding on the Boo Camp map, um, and I actually got Kashe up to level 19, and I got a lot, of, a lot of people up to level 14 and 13 and stuff like that, so a lot of good stuff right there. But anyway, let's go ahead and make a quick save and get into this fight. Let's do this. So, first things first. Camilla, we're going to have you use up this Dragon Vein to intimidate all these foes. Here we go. What? You tapped into a Dragon Vein. That means you're, you're royalty. You're no ruffian, and that makes you all... Oh, I'm sorry. Please spare my life. Here, do you want money? Take this, it's all yours. I beg more troops would do the same, if only they realized. Holy shit, we... Whoa! Hello? Holy shit, dude. So if we manage to get these guys in this particular space, we could actually have them flee? Yo, this guy gave us 500 gold. Did he have that on him? Or was that just, it just came out of nowhere? I don't know, but whatever. Let's actually have Silas move as well. Let's have him go. I actually gave Silas a steel sword since he actually just improved his uh, sword proficiency. So that should be very good for us. Alright, no one here is royalty, so that's kind of bad. We're going to actually equip the Steel Lance for Perry. Arthur, we're going to have you come up ahead, because, yeah. So we're going to have that. Kashe, we're going to have you move this weight. Is there anyone royal on this side? Literally no one here is royal. Uh, well, that's a problem. Because uh, as much as I would love to... I mean, would... Camilla be able to take a hit? Ugh, because then I'd be sending everyone on this side. Alright, so I'm going to have to send someone on this side next turn. Because we do not want any problems. Like, seriously. Alright, end the turn. Oh, I forgot to turn the animations on. I'll probably do that as soon as possible. Two damage? Holy shit. Did Camilla just get a crit, dude? Damn, she always gets crits now. Alright, not bad. Silas is here. Five damage? That's pretty bad. Did the Dragon Vein take effect? Not yet, okay. So it's not going to take effect then. 
Um, let's actually turn the animations on because I don't know. I just feel like you guys aren't really seeing the full thing of stuff. Ooh, if I actually do Dragon Vein right now. Oh my god. That's not even everyone. But you know what? Screw it. We're just going to do it now. So it's going to be three enemies who end up fleeing. So not bad at all. Received 1,000 gold. Wow, we have 1,500 gold now. That's crazy. All right, so Kaze and Selena. Use up that dual shuriken. Let's go. Let's go, Kaze. Yo, are you kidding me? Ooh, Kaze. God damn, son. You gotta chill, my friend. So we can get experience. Perfect. All right, I was hoping that we'd be able to get experience from all this, so that's good. Very good indeed. All right, and we have to have someone take care of... I'm not going to have Arthur do it because I want him to get to Percy as soon as possible. All right, so 17 damage twice. Okay, who can attack from long range? Mm, okay. Ooh, Nyx can. So you know what? Oh, shit, though. That's 12 damage right there, guys. All right, that's not going to help. These guys have javelins. That's going to be bad, dude. Oh, man. What about Niles? Can he get... Okay. Here's the thing. Although it's only 50%. Actually, no, we can avoid this. I know we can avoid this. We have 19 speed, if I'm not wrong. So I don't think we're going to have to worry about getting hit. See that miss? There we go. And Niles is here. Let's go. Let's go. And now they both have dual guard equipped. That's nice. That is nice. Okay. All right, so if the danger zone is right there. So you know what? We're going to have Elise come through. And if we use Sakura's Rod, that would actually... Okay, that wouldn't do it then. I want Silas to be at full HP. There we go. Perfect. Now, Arthur, you need to move up, my friend. 20 dam... Ooh. But the accuracy is not good. However, Arthur actually has pretty high crit chances ever since we got that skill. So, I mean, could we get it? Alright, we didn't get it, but still. He's not doing anything to Arthur. Which is not bad at all. And finally, Camilla. Hmm. I mean, you have to kill all these guys now, so might as well. We're going to use up that Steel Axe. Let's go. We're going to have Camilla and Laszlo come through. Like, this is going to be such a beautiful pairing. Because, I mean, the last conversation we had with these two, I mean, the first one we had with these two was, you know, Laszlo flirting with her, with Camilla, and then pretty much her rejecting him because... She realized that everyone flirts with her. I mean, or he flirts with everyone. That's what I meant to say. Four damage. Not going to hit. 72%. Like, get out of here, dude. You, you honestly just can't expect to hit me. Like, come on. Come on. All right. Uh-oh. We got some niggas coming on this side. That's a problem. So you know what? Camilla, take care of this dude right now. Just take care of this dude. We're going to speed this up. Because I, I do not feel like doing this. Holy shit, dude. She's just swiping niggas. Look at Camilla. Look at Camilla right now. Lazo's pretty close to a level up as well. So you know what? If we manage to get over here, um, we'll actually go ahead and have Lazlo attack next. Arthur, you really can't move that much, can you? Jeez, what happened? Kashe, let's have you move up. Alright, there are 22 units now. So, I mean, we took care of 9 units already? Or, I mean, we didn't take care of all of them since we did have a few retreat. But damn, really? Okay, so this isn't actually as bad as I thought. I mean, it looks unfair from when you start the battle, but really it's not that bad. Alright, so the danger zone would be... Not too... Yeah, not too bad. Not at all. Alright, I see what they're trying to do. Ooh, maybe we should have someone else attack then. Oh, no one else can reach? Silas can, but he can't kill. That's a thing. Which is a shame, but whatever. Anyone else who can... Okay, Niles can actually... Alright, you know what, Niles? Would this kill, though? I'm pretty sure this would kill, yeah. So, there we go, and there we go. Alright, Niles. Dude, I'm loving it right now. Plus, you're building support with Perry. This is good. This is good. And Camilla, now... She can use up this dragon. Damn it. Alright, yes, you know what? I would actually rather have... Okay, so the danger zone... If we manage to pull these guys in, 
Alright, so danger zone is right there. We're gonna wait there. So that way we can hopefully draw all these guys in. Oh, wait, however. Let me take that off and put this on. Oh, so we still... Okay, so we still will be fine. These guys will not be getting to Camilla anytime soon. And once we pull all these guys in, we should be fine because we'll get on that dragon vein. Yo, it's gonna be lit. Oh, no wonder we can't move. This is all mountain. Alrighty then. Oh, no, man. Okay, so Arthur. We're gonna have Kashi get that dragon vein next. Because that's gonna be good. Alright, um... Let's, let's just keep going. Because this is not very bad at all. Dude. This is not being so bad at all. Oh, is this gonna hit me? Come on, Arthur. Alright, three damage. Not bad. I mean, I was kind of worried, but... Hello? Ooh! Arthur! Arthur, for goodness sake, why are you... Oh, so strong. God damn it. Dude, you're so freaking powerful. God damn it. Uh-oh. Someone's on that dragon vein. Don't like that. Don't like that. 16. Crap. However. So that's an iron axe, right? Switch. Attack. Holy shit. That would do it all. That would do it all, my friends. Alright, so you know what? We're gonna go ahead and attack with Nyx. Because goddamn, Nyx is deadly in this battle. Holy shit, do you see how much damage she's doing right now? Headshot, my boy. Headshot, my dudes. And she got that. Im she got so much experience. Alright. So we can make these two ally not allies, enemies flee. Do you know what? That's exactly what we're gonna do. Although I wish there were more in range. Yo, we got a thousand more gold. 2,500 gold? I like this. I like this a lot. Dude, I like this aspect of playing. Alright, Effie? 25 damage exactly? Let's go then. Let's fucking go. Come on, Effie. Come on. Let's go, Effie. Boom. One shot. KO. Dude, this is fucking awesome, dude. Goddamn. Now, there aren't any enemies on this side. Well, except for the ones up here. How many are there left? Uh, 16. Alright, still a lot, but not that bad. Alright, I still really... They really didn't come over here? That's a shame. So we're gonna be right next to the Dragon Vein then. And these guys do have range of Camilla, so... Whatever. Oh, she would have a disadvantage too, which is a shame. But I'm not that concerned. Camilla can definitely take hits. Especially since she's so beefy. Like, goddamn, man, her defense is so good. It's at 20... No, 20, yeah. I was looking at her resistance by accident. Um, who else, who else do I move? Oh my god, I completely forgot to move freaking Niles and Perry right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to move them. Uh, is this going to do four damage, dude? Even if it does, not a big deal. Yeah, see, not a big deal. See, Kashe has pretty good defense, which is good. Damn it. Uh-oh. Oh, this is going to be bad. Can we get anyone? Now we can't get anyone. That's a problem. Oh, God. Now everyone's over here. Oh, no. Oh, they have a javelin, too? Damn, that's... That's bad. Okay, um... Damn it, I was hoping this wouldn't happen, but... Yo, a good chunk of these guys are actually right here. I mean, there are a few on the sides here, but then... After all this gets done... All we have left is these guys, and then... Percy over here. He has a hand axe and an iron axe, so we gotta be careful. For sure. Alright, if we switch to Arthur... That would actually be very beneficial for us, so that's what we'll do. We're going to attack with Arthur. Boom. We got dual guard, so that's not going to hit at all. Not going to hit. And boom. Okay, Arthur, I like it. I really like it. Let's go, Arthur. God damn, dude. Um, Kaze, can you reach? Damn, okay. No one else can reach. That's a shame. That's a shame. <laughs> oh, man. Like, I mean, Camilla can get a jump start. Holy shit. That's 12 damage twice. Ah, uh, that wouldn't do it. However, this would do it. Alright, let's get rid of this Weaver and Rider then. Because I'm not in the mood to fuck with anyone else like that. Like, to be completely honest with you. There we go, done deal. Done deal, my boys. Done deal. Ooh, right about to level up as well? Not bad. Not bad. I really wish Kaze can move. Man, alright, so Selena and Kaze have the same range when it comes to movement. 
Who has better defense? Definitely Selena, so that's what we're gonna do. Nyx, as much as I would love to use you, that's not really gonna help my case right here. What the hell? Eh, three damage. Do I really want that? Do I really want that? I mean, Silas' defense is at 13. It's not that bad at all. These guys' movement, though, is really bad, so you know what? We should be fine. Like, yo. Alright, so you know what? Silas, where are, you? where are you? Okay, so if we attack... Fuck. That's a problem. Um, damn it. Alright, I wanted to have Silas come up, but... Alright, you know what? Then I have a plan. I have a plan. So we're gonna switch. Three damage is not gonna be too terrible towards us. I mean, Silas has got this. What? This isn't a boss. Why is it playing this music? What the hell? Um, I'm kinda confused. Just, he does, he's not even a boss. Why is it playing music? Whatever, I'm so done. Alright, Yato will take care of everything, obviously. Especially since Kashi is fucking tanked. There we go. And Silas is here to help out. Dude, Silas is your best friend. Don't don't forget that. He's here for you, dude. And Silas is level 14. I feel like I'm finally growing as a knight. You should feel like that, dude. Because, like, come on. You're awesome, Silas. You're awesome. And that is pretty much it. Let's end the turn. Four damage. Why is this boss music playing? Are all the mercenaries have the same music? I guess so. But yo, Silas and Kashe working together like this? Bad choice, guys. Bad choice. You should not be attacking us. Alright, two damage at the most. Yo, like, what is this? What is this? Now we have dual guard. Thanks a lot. And you're dead, by the way. Just trying to clarify that. Let's go. Yo, what if I had Silas versus Percy? The same voice actors. That'd be so cool. But I don't know if I'll do that. I mean, he would have an advantage, since, you know, Percy does have an axe, so... Could work, could work. But, then again, why would I fight Percy if I want to recruit him? Like, really? All I have left is my desire to improve. Well, that was a pretty good stat boost, Nyx, not bad. Six damage? Oh, man, I please, please don't hit. Oh, no. That's, that's not good. That's not good. But at least Silas is actually getting a lot of damage with these guys. And that's it, right? Okay. Now, as for my plan, we're going to... Hold up, hold up, hold up. Selena, let's have you actually attack. You're going to have to finish off this Nigi. We're going to do 10 damage. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and get into this. Chopped up. Like, no problem. Yeah, I know, right? Like, come on now. Nicely done. Now... Hand axe, yeah, not very good when it comes to the chances here. I want to have Laszlo attack, so you know what, we're going to have Camilla come on this side. And we're going to have Laszlo chop some niggas up. Here we go. And there we go. Look, nice job, Laszlo. Dude, dude, that level up though, not bad. Dude, I'm so powerful, it's almost embarrassing. <laughs> you know, I like it. I like the cockiness. Kashe. God damn, you're so strong. Why is Kashe so goddamn strong? It's not funny. Perry, I want you to attack, because, I mean, to be honest with you, I haven't been able to use you in a while. If we actually turn over to Effie, she'd be able to take care of this with no problems at all. So you know what? It's all yours. All yours, Effie. All yours. Let's go. Is that going to be level up? Nope. All right, never mind. And finally, if we... Uh, Alright, I wanted to have, you know, Nyx finish off the job since, I mean, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Let's actually go over here. Um, Silos and Laszlo, what could that do? Yeah, Silos would be extra useful. Alright, Dragon Fang? No, no Dragon Fang. I'm just saying that because we get it so often, especially so early in the game. I mean, I know, we're only at, like, chapter 13 now, like, that's crazy. We didn't start getting Dragon Fang as often, like, until, like, maybe chapter 20 or chapter 19-ish, kind of. 
Then that's when we started to get it a lot. All right, the range on these guys. Ah, oh, Silas is right in range. That's a problem. Oh no. He's actually right in range. Oh, and they have javelins too. Uh oh. Can I heal? Damn it. Okay, Sakura's rod. That can heal long range. Wait, just how long? What is that range? It's one to two. So I'd be able to. Damn it. Oh, that's three away. That's a shame. Okay, well, that's a problem. Alright, but everyone else, let's just move. Here we go. Four damage is not going to be that bad. Like, seriously. And it missed? That was 81%. Like, holy. You got to work on your accuracy, friend. Percy's coming. Uh-oh. Everyone back up. Everyone back up. Damn it. Ah, oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, if Percy's moving, we gotta move right now. How's the range on Percy, by the way? Okay, so if he comes towards us one more time, we have to have Arthur talk to him. Because we cannot have anyone dying or anything like that. Let's actually wait right here instead. Because I feel like... <laughs> I don't know. Because he has a hand axe, too, so I don't want to be in any range of him. Because I really want to recruit Percy, you know? I really want him. And then, Kashe, you're in the danger zone, aren't you? No. No one else is in the danger zone. Camilla, we gotta, we gotta have you away from Percy as well, because if anything, you'd be, like, destroying the shit out of him. But I guess we could take the opportunity now to heal up my boy Silas. Just a little bit, because why not? Not bad. And, um... Alright, I think we should be good at this point. I don't think we're going to be in range of him. So next turn, we should definitely be having Arthur talk to uh, Percy. Let's do this. Alright, they're going to attack Kashe, but this is most likely going to miss. I'm hoping it will. Alright, that didn't miss. No problem. Not a big deal. Um, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. Oh my god. Dude, I'm, I'm kind of scared now. Ooh. Well, I don't really like this. But now, actually, yeah, Arthur is... Wait, what? What? No. Are you kidding me? But th there's no talking option? Well, that sucks. Damn. So we actually can't even talk to... Freaking Percy over here, man. What the fuck? Oh, damn. Ooh, Perry can't do anything. She can only do six damage. Dude, Percy could do a lot more damage. Holy shit. That's kind of bad. God damn, that, that hurts, dude. That hurts. Anyway, though, um, let's actually go ahead. Ugh. Should I? Kashi is in danger, man. He really is. I could just give him a vulnerary. I could do that. Because if I put a lease right here, that's going to be bad news. Oh, man, dude. If we had a Zura, that'd be a lot more useful. Let's actually use Rally. Okay, so what did that... That added strength and speed, actually. Not bad. Not bad. So when that would that mean that? But here's the thing. I really just want to heal up because Kashe really needs it. However, we can actually heal Kashe right now, but that would only heal eight HP. Oh boy, I don't like that. I don't like that, guys. What if we use the hand axe? Yeah, that's not gonna do shit. Okay. Arthur actually has a 15% crit chance. Ooh, not bad. And the most that Percy can do to him is 13 damage. I mean, 3 damage. And, I mean, even if we... I want to do this because I, I also want to see what dialogue they'll have, so... Let's try it out. If we do land both hits, we'll actually... Let's take him out, Ace. All of them. Pops next to go. Listen up, son. Your spree of mayhem is over. And I am on its side. Not you, Pop. 
Percy, if you insist on this, you leave me no choice but to fight back. Well, it's a shame that we have to do this. I'm sorry, Percy. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, please, get a crit or something. That's gonna do it. Damn, this, this kid literally sounds like Pit, dude. This is awesome. I'm sorry. Dude, you don't have to apologize. I mean, I don't even know why you decided to fight us. Why couldn't we talk to him, though? That would have been... The power of justice flows within me. Dude, it sure does. Like, Arthur is the MVP of everything. Yo, should I have... Ooh. Yo, Silas can do some work, my dudes. Alright, let's go ahead and improve that bronze lance proficiency. Because, goddamn, this is going to help tremendously. Alright, zero damage. And... Boom. There we go. There we go, Silas. Let's go, my dude. Not bad, not bad. Alright, so Elise, where are you? Here you are. We're gonna heal Kashe almost fully. And she'll actually get a lot of experience from this. Okay. And now, Selena. If we attack with Kaze. Oh my god, ew. God damn, those odds are not good. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. God, Perry would get fucked. <laughs> and yo, that's not good when you get fucked, my boy. Alright, but now that we actually have... Oh, but I gotta leave a, I gotta leave an opening here. So, Kashe, let's actually have you attack right here. Just so that way he's out of the way. We're gonna speed this up. Dude, I, I love the teamwork between these two. It's just so awesome. And Kashe attained weapon level B. Not that it's going to matter, because all we use is our Yato, pretty much. We never even really use the Dragonstone, either, so... Whatever. So these... Okay, Steel Lance, Iron Lance, Javelin... Yeah, there's no way Elise is going to get touched, so... We have nothing to worry about. No big deal. Um, let's just switch to Niles, I guess. And here we go. You're going to attack my dude, Kashe, The Prince of Nor? Are you fucking niggered? Let's go! That went well. Dude, I love that! For no! Jesus! God damn it! Alright, you're gonna attack Arthur? Are you nick? Arthur, really? Arthur, are you niggered? Come on, dude. Uh oh. Okay, it's only 4 damage. Not bad. Come the fuck on, are you kidding me, dude? Alright, so if we do we have a better chance of hitting this guy? No! We do not. That'd be only... Are you niggering me? Like, really, dude? Like, are you serious right now? But, you know what? I already thought of an alternative right here. What I think I'm gonna do is actually have Niles go over here, do 24 damage, basically leaving this guy with 1 HP left, and you may go first. Parry. I didn't know you liked to get your turn, you know? I didn't think you liked to go down like that. But anyway, and here's what I thought of. Since Silas actually has 83 experience, I figured since maybe we'll get the experience, like, and a lot of it, we'll actually be able to finish off this guy. So that's exactly what I think I'm going to do. Here we go. There you go, Silas. Getting that experience. Eat that up, my boy. And the level up is ours. Let's go. Dude, that's ours right there. That's ours. Let's freaking go. Ah, so satisfying. But, um, alright. And now there's only one enemy left. So, you know what? We're going to stand here. Damn. Okay, so, you know what? Let's just try it. Let's see if we can actually, um, let's actually land this hit, maybe. Okay, so Arthur got some experience there. And I'm wondering, okay, Effie. Effie! Oh, shit. Damn, Effie, level 15? Nice. That wasn't a bad stat boost anyway. Alright, so... The final level... I mean, the final experience gained for right now... Will be... Oh, it can't be Camilla. Although she's really close, she's at 98 EXP. Although I really want her to get it, she's not close enough since freaking Laszlo's in front. So you know what, we'll just have Kashe finish off the job here. 19 damage. Even though it's not necessary, we will take it. Get fucking chopped, my niggy. Let's fucking go. 
And, okay, although that was not any experience at all, I don't really care. And there we go. Paralog 19, Great Heroism is finished. I'm pretty, I'm pretty curious to see what happens. Aww, Percy. I'm sorry, Percy. I never meant to abandon you. I just thought you were absolutely safe, so my job was done until you were older. I screwed up on heroic sca uh, scale. Please forgive me. From this day forward, I'd love for you to join me as a sidekick. Or maybe I'll be yours. Whatever. Just as long as we're as just a slinging duo. Uh, really, Pop? Does that mean you'll come live with me in my deep prom with me? That made no sense. No, the opposite. You're never going back there. Do you really mean it? I can stay here with you? Right here, with me. <laughs> Look at freaking Percy right now. And then, I just keep on imagining Anthony Del Rio trying to like do these crying voice clips. This is hilarious, dude. What is it? Did I blunder again? No, I'm just so happy. I didn't want you as my arch nemesis, Pop. I really didn't. This is what I've always wanted. Father and son bond repaired in the nick of time. Your dragon. What's gotten in... Wait, what's got him so darn upset? Whoa, hold on, big boy. Those are your fangs you're bearing over there. Hey, stop. Don't snap it, Pops. You didn't do anything bad. Percy, your trusty steed is looking at me like I'm a meat platter. I'm not sad. Happy, you hear? Happy. H-A-P-P-Y. Okay. We're staying here with Pops. We don't need to have to live in our deep realm. He's backing off. Good boy. Good boy. I thought you'd be flossing me out of this teeth soon. Glad we cleared all this up. You and your dragon are most welcome with us. Golly, thanks a bunch. Okay. I can't wait to learn how to be a better hero from you. I'm glad to have uh, I'm glad to have you at my side. Now, ready to sock evil in the face? The old one two, father son justice? <laughs> yeah Good thing that all worked out. Hopefully that'll be the last father son skirmish we see in our party. I'm afraid there's probably going to be a lot more than that, Silas, but there we go, guys. That's going to do it for this paralogue right here. And since I want to keep this episode fairly decently sized, like half an hour we're already at, I'm just going to end off the video here, because although I would have, um, you know, Arthur talk to Percy, as well as Effie, I'm actually going to save that for probably the next episode, so that way we can just get into uh, the next chapter and have a little support to do as well. But anyway, guys, thanks so much again for watching. Of course, thanks so much for watching this episode of Fire Emblem Fates Conquest. Now we have a new ally, Percy the Weaver Rider. Already level 12, so not bad. And um, his stats are looking pretty goddamn awesome, in my opinion. But um, if you all did enjoy and want to keep on seeing more, definitely make sure to smash that like button for me and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll keep on uploading this amazing content for you guys. But anyway, guys, thanks so much again for watching. And I will see you all next time. Peace, Marquezis. Stay awesome.